Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Republican U.S. Representative Jackie Walarski is dead following a car accident in her northern Indiana district. The Elkhart County Sheriff's Office said a car collided head-on with an SUV Walarski was riding in, killing her and two others in the vehicle. A woman driving the other car was also killed in the crash. A Senate committee is refusing to budge over its vision for inflation relief and financial supports for pregnant people and families. The Senate committee threw out the House's proposal and inserted its own language, standing firm against sending $225 checks to Hoosiers. So that takes away my voice of being able to say that there are constituents who are interested in the relief checks uh, proposal. The bill passed out of the Tax and Fiscal Policy Committee and now heads to the full Senate. Well, IU President Pamela Witten is defending IU School of Medicine professor Dr. Caitlin Bernard. Bernard came under fire for providing an abortion to a 10-year-old rape victim from Ohio. In a statement to the New York Times last Thursday, Witten said, Dr. Bernard has always demonstrated concern for the well-being of her patients and the education of her students. Witten says IU will continue to defend Bernard and encourages others at IU to express their opinions. And the Poplars Building and Old IU Health Hospital site in Bloomington are partially demolished. The Bloomington Board of Public Works granted road closures to allow both demolitions to continue. IU contracted Indianapolis-based Renaissance Inc. to complete both projects. Closures last through September 9th, but mostly avoid IU move-in. Now, a quick check of the weather forecast. First for tonight, mostly cloudy, lows down to 72 degrees. In the five-day forecast, tomorrow rain is back in the forecast. Highs up to 83, 60% chance of showers on Friday. Highs continue into the mid-80s Saturday with a 40% chance of rain. More news online, WTIUnews.org.